welcome to Nina's Nats Crochet. I'm Lynanne. If you're new here, hi, thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fantastic yarning community. Returning subscribers, hey, thanks so much for coming and spending a little bit of your Friday with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, today is Yarn Haul Part 2. Um, today I'm going to show you my Hershner's and what I got from the uh, little yarn shop when I was on vacation. Um, for some reason, I thought I had a Mary Maxim order. Apparently, I don't. And that's okay, because this is a lot. Um, I, I, I think I got some cool things. One of them, I haven't even opened the box yet or the bag yet, only because I want it to be a total surprise. So let's start with um let's stop start with a little yarn shop because you know little story time here um in the town that i grew up in they don't have a little yarn shop we have to go to the next town over the county seat valparaiso indiana they have a yarn shop there called uh sheep's clothing cute shop in an old building so so cute I was able to meet up with one of my very dear friends from high school. Um, oh God, probably middle school now I've known her. Here's a picture of Cheryl and I. Um, and Cheryl's one of my subscribers. And she saw that we were coming home. We emailed back and forth. So we got to spend a couple of hours together yarn shopping and chatting and catching up. And it was really nice to see her. So... Not only did I get to catch up with a really good friend, that I got to buy some really cool yarn. So, there's their logo, Sheep's Clothing. So cute. They have a really, really cute store. If you are in the Northwest Indiana, Chicagoland area, and you're by that way, pop in. It's a cute little store. Um, They were... And I don't know if they still are, but they were having a clearance on their Noro yarn. They are, they're getting rid of it. They're not carrying it in their store anymore, which is sad because I'm all of a sudden I've decided I really like Noro. Um, so anyway, I did buy three that I've used and this, I'll show you this on Monday. It's done sort of, we're going to talk about it. But anyway, this was the Noro, and that's the name of it, and the color was eight, and it's a really pretty rainbow. I'll show you on Monday. I had three of those, and then I got, how many of these did I get? One, two, three, five in this color. Oh, oh is this not pretty? Um, same kind, same name, just a different colorway, color 16. And this is 300 meters, 100 grams. I don't do the conversion. Uh, 40 cotton, 25 silk, 25 viscose, 10 polyamide. And this is just a really pastel y rainbow so pretty so soft I don't know what I want to do with this I don't know if I want to make I I have five of them I'm thinking lightweight cardigan for my granddaughter maybe I don't know something I just thought this was so pretty and it just it jumped out at me and so now I think it needs to be something beautiful and it was 40% off. So that was purchase number one, which I love. Then I was back in the back where they have their cotton. I got four of these and these are Barocco. Vivo, and it's 100% cotton, but holy Moses, is this stuff soft. 
Notice the theme here, people have really gotten into the blues. How pretty is that? Does that, that just gives off such a beachy vibe to me. Um, coastal beach cottage. This is going to, I'm going to make this a throw. These are 100% cotton. There's 317 yards of a number three. It says to use a four millimeter hook. Definitely. I see this being a throw, like a lap gun. Not, not a huge blanket, just, you know, wide enough for your lap, long enough to cover your legs kind of a thing. That's what this is going to be. I do believe. And I love these colors. Oh. All right, so that's that. Then we get into the really expensive stuff. I bought myself, because I've always wanted it, Madeline Tosh. I don't know what that word is. This is called Ice Cap Speckled. It's a super fine uh, 420 yards, 100% uh, superwash merino. And I just thought this was a nice neutral. And my thinking was, I want to pair it with something that's out there. This is a Madeline Tosh unicorn tail in this bright orange. And my sister-in-law, who has been so extremely helpful, um, I thought if I made her a shawl with this, with this pop of orange, because she's a big Tennessee fan. She loves everything about Tennessee football. So, and their color is orange. So I thought I could put make a really pretty neutral shawl with this beautiful pop of orange here and there just to give it a little visual and as a thank you gift for just always being available to help us out. So I thought this would be a fun shawl for her. So that was one splurge. And then this one, oh wait, I got two of those little unicorn tails. Oh, that makes me happy. Then I got this. <laughs> oh my God. Um, this is Madeline Tosh uh, Merino Light, and it's the Superwash Merino Wool. Fingering weight, 420 yards, number one. <gasps> you see a, a theme here with the blue? This is called Well Water, and it is so pretty and so soft, and I am absolutely in love with this. This one, I didn't know what I want to make with it. I just bought it because it just it was so gorgeous. I'm thinking that I might want to try to knit with this because I think with knitting you you get a larger project when you're knitting because uh, you know crochet takes up more yarn and then I got two more of the unicorn tails and this color is alpine lace and this one is paper and they're you know the alpine lace is a little bit darker but I thought that those would pair beautifully with the blue. So my idea is to put these together in a project that I might knit and I might not. I might do a Tunisian something with these. I had so much fun. I mean, I put a dent in my credit card with all of this, with the eight uh, Hanks of Noro, the four of the Barocco, the two Madeline Tosh full schemes, and four of these little minis. Yeah, I killed my credit card. But it was vacation money. 
and it was fun and I enjoyed spending time in their beautiful little shop and I enjoyed spending time with my friend. So now I just, this honestly, I don't know what I was going to do with this, but I, this just said, come home with me, come home with me. So here it is. It's home with me. And I, oh my God, it's so soft and so beautiful. So that is my local yarn shop haul. Before we left on vacation, um, Hershner's was having their, you know, Memorial Day sale, I guess is what they were calling it. And I was flipping through the website because, you know, I get all the emails and I got attached to this. Now, I've never had this kind before. Um, this is willow yarns and i love their stuff i have you know i have all the uh i can't think of the name of it now but i've got the the what is that one called the willow wheels the flower wheels i've got some of that well this is the willow yarn stream it is so soft it is uh la 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 la, la. <laughs> it's 70 percent super wash wool and 30% silk. It is a number one. It is really thin, but it is really, really soft. Oh my gosh. It is soft. This color is called cobblestone and it's just a really pretty marled gray, dark gray and light gray so, so pretty. I think I got, I think I got four or five of each color. There's four, five of the cobblestone. Oh, it's so soft. Then I got this color, which is azalea. Isn't that, I don't know how they say that's azalea. Um, it's just a really beautiful brick red with just a hint, undertone hint of pink. So, so pretty. And I got one, two, three, four, five of those. And the last color I got, oh wait, nope, I got six of each. Look at that, I found two more of each. So I got one of these and one of these. And then the last color I got is, what the hell color, color is this? Uh, Colossone, C-L-O-I-S-O-N-N-E with the doohickey on the top. Let's see if I can get you a picture of that. I don't know what that word is. It's not going to focus. No. But it's a beautiful. There, that's about the right. Turquoisey blue aqua. Oh, you guys, this is so, so soft. So pretty. Oh, I got more of these. Two, four, five. Oh, no, I had to get six of those. So I got six of each of these colors. They, like I said, they have 437 yards of a number one. This is going to make a beautiful shawl or wrap. I don't know what it's going to make, but I've never had a wool silk blend and you can feel, oh, I got fibers up my nose, sorry. You can, you can't feel the wool in this. This is so soft. It is very luxurious. The colors are just absolutely beautiful. Not that I would ever put these three together in a project, but look how gorgeous those colors are. I love it. This, I think, might make a really pretty sweater. I think I have enough to do a sweater for like maybe my daughter or my daughter-in-law. 
just a neutral pull on lightweight sweater. I'm really into uh, doing uh, wearables, guys. I'm really enjoying it. That's kind of where my creative brain is going lately. So, Shaw, no, I, I don't think I'll ever put any of these. Nah, maybe, no. No, they need to stand on their own, but they're beautiful colors, beautiful yarn. And these were on sale. These uh, little donuts were on sale for $2.99 for a wool silk blend. Couldn't pass it up. And my husband picked out this color. So maybe I'll ask him what he thinks I should make out of this. He seems to have a pretty good handle on things sometime. And thank you, by the way, for all your thoughts and prayers continuing for him. He's doing well. He's getting better every day. It's going to take a while. It's going to be a long recovery, but slow and steady wins the race. He's doing really great. So anyway, so that is part one of my Hirschner's order. And in there, they threw in their big sale thing. I'm not looking in it because I don't want to have it. <laughs> I, I don't need any more, really. But they've got a bunch of stuff on sale. Super inexpensive. If anybody's looking for like Hayfield Bonus DK, it's $1.99 for a number three with 306 yards on it. Wow. $1.99 for their uh, classic uh, two-ply Afghan yarn. The big five-ounce ball. Wow. Bag of three for five seventy three. Well, oh, I really shouldn't look in here. I really, really shouldn't. What else is in here? Yeah, nothing I really need. Premier Everyday DK stripes is three forty nine. Universal Cotton Supreme Sapling Bulky Weight Cotton with a Nubby Texture. $4 a hank for how many yards? 109 yards. Eh. Oh, the Willow Yarn Wisp. Eh, $5 a ball isn't that great of a sale. Yeah. Oh, they've, this has gone back up. The, that, this is now, on, and they say this, in this flyer, they say it's a, this is a, uh, no, this isn't the same. Yeah, it is. Well, how is this the same thing? This one says it's a silk. Where did I see? Uh, I guess I'm not reading this right. They said that this was a, a lace weight, but on the label, it says it's a super fine number one. So, I don't know. It's still pretty. A lot of really good things on sale in here. I'm not enabling you. I'm just telling you it's available if you're interested. Hershner seems to have really good sales lately. And I like their shipping. Um, it's very fast. And I like the quality, especially of these willow yarns. I really like working with these willow yarns. So the last bag I have to show you, which I have not opened because I wanted it to be a surprise, is the mill ends. I got a big bag of mill ends. Now, I don't remember what I ordered. I know that there was cotton, there was alpaca, I believe, and uh, merino, like the gradient cakes. I don't remember what I, I'm pretty sure I probably ordered a cotton, and I might have ordered the alpaca, I don't remember. That's okay. I want to I want to be surprised. So the first one is oh I did. I get the um alpaca gradient mill ends. So it's 80 acrylic, 20 alpaca, three waist, three weight sport. Look how pretty that is. There are seriously 924 yards a ball. That's a lot of yards. So that's number one in the alpaca. I have to feel this. 
That's nice. Ooh, that's nice. Look how pretty that is. It's got a fuzzy halo. That must be the alpaca. Oh, I like this. Squishy and soft. Ooh, okay. That's bag number one. Bag number two. Oh, this is the self striping cotton mill ends, 100% cotton. Okay, so they've got several different, it's either 96% cotton and 4% metallic or 55% cotton, 45% acrylic, or 53% cotton, 43% acrylic, and 4% metallic. They just put them all on here. Um, these are a number two fine. Uh, this is sparkly. Did they know that I'm into blues? Look at that. Doesn't that look like a starry sky? <gasps> so pretty. So each cake is 225 grams, 875 yards of a number two fine sport. Wow. Look how pretty. Ooh, this could make something really gorgeous. And I'm not much of a sparkle. I don't have a lot of sparkle yarn, but that is going to make a spectacular shawl. And, okay, last one. <gasps> what is this? Okay, this is the Merino Villains of a number three sport. Uh... 586 yards a ball. And these are two different colors. So we have this white one with the pinks that go down to the dark pink with the gray marl. And then the blue that's the like almost turquoisey blue that goes down into the gray. So each one of those balls is what? 568 yards. So I can get a I'm a number three. I could get a really pretty scarf out of that. Maybe a scarf and a hat out of both of these. So pretty. Oh, I have to feel this. This is this is the merino. Hmm. It feels really nice. I like it. I love I'm okay. I'm happy with that. So we got one of each. We got the merino, the cotton, and the alpaca. Oh, is this gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. What am I going to do with all this? This is definitely going to be a shaw. Definitely a beautiful gradient shaw. And I don't know. These, I think, I'm thinking hat and scarf sets with these. Give me your suggestions. What do you think? So guys, that is the last of my yarn haul. Um, I have no more to open. Yay! My, my husband's like shaking his head. He's like, where are you going to put all this? I'll find room. I'm going to do some rearranging in here, I think. Um, I have another bookshelf that I need to put up. And this will all find a home. It's, it's gorgeous stuff. And I'm um, kind of excited. I want to like start in on all this right away but I have um I'm almost finished with uh my blarf that I'm making out of the other Noro um we'll talk about that on Monday hopefully I'll finish that this weekend um I'm cooking right along on the Bella Vita for the uh free with glasses Cal um on Sunday I am going to get caught up on my um Double Dog Dare knit blanket. So I'll show you that pro pro progress. And I will probably get the uh, multivalence done also by this weekend. So it's supposed to rain all weekend. So what else am I going to do? Sit inside and, and crochet the day away. So um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Get some quality crafting time in. Spend some time on self-care. It's so important. But above all, be kind to everyone. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday.